Lots of big things are going on for Becky and Trisha's story, so we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's going on with Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and more. Let's start things off with the latest updates with the Becky Lynch vs. Trish Stratus feud. Even with no titles being involved in the program, Becky Lynch vs. Trish Stratus has been this highly featured feud on WWE television. That began technically in March and is expected to run through SummerSlam. We've talked many times about how great this feud is because a highly featured non-title feud is not something you see very often in the women's division. So the fact that they have this great non-title feud going on with a top star like Becky Lynch, a legend like Trish Stratus, and even using it to bring up a new star like Zoe Stark is just perfect. All the pieces are there and everything is clicking and working so far. Becky Lynch cut a promo a few weeks ago talking about how Trish Stratus was near moments away from getting exposed at Night of Champions, but how she was saved by her insurance policy, Zoe Stark, at the last second. Becky Lynch said that the fact that Trish had a backup plan shows that Trish already has lost her match in her mind before it even began. Which is a good point by Becky Lynch. If someone is confident about their ability to win the match, why would they need a backup plan in the first place? It shows that maybe the individual doesn't really believe that they can get the job done on their own. So this was a nice dig at Trish Stratus from Becky Lynch. Zoe came out and said that the one accomplishment Becky will never get to do in her career is beat Trish Stratus, and they went back and forth there. But then we get to the June 19th edition of Raw, and things get interesting again for this story. It was Raquel Rodriguez versus Trish Stratus, with a Money in the Bank spot being on the line. Raquel was dominating for a majority of the match, but Zoe Stark started getting involved and caused some trouble for Raquel. So, given all the ongoing issues and problems Becky Lynch had with Trish and Zoe, she came out and tried to even things out so that Trish and Zoe don't cheat to beat Raquel. Only issue was that Trish rolled out to ringside right behind Becky Lynch, and Becky threw Trish right into the barricade while the match was still going, and while the referee saw the entire thing go down. This causes a disqualification, it gives Trish Stratus the win, and qualifies her for the Money in the Bank ladder match without needing to pin or submit Raquel. Raquel was understandably furious after the match concluded in that fashion. So in a way, Trish gets one over here on Becky Lynch. Trish baited Becky Lynch into attacking her, knowing that it would give Trish the win, and Becky fell right for the trap. So we should definitely hear Trish brag about outsmarting Becky Lynch there in the coming weeks. But that's where the story's headed now. Not only does Becky Lynch have to worry about Zoe Stark, but Trish Stratus is now in the Money in the Bank ladder match as well. So we can definitely expect Becky to have her hands full dealing with the both of them in the ladder match. A lot of fans were wondering if Becky even had a good chance of winning at Money in the Bank. But with Zoe and Trish now both being in the match, it's pretty hard to picture a world where Becky's able to overcome Trish and Zoe, as well as everyone else that'll be in the match. This obviously doesn't count as Night of Champions rematch between Trish and Becky, but it does seem like they're going to use the Money in the Bank ladder match to continue the Trish versus Becky feud. The most obvious route to go in is obviously Trish and Zoe screwing Becky out of winning the contract at the last second in some fashion. That'll be a good way to keep their story going and lead us towards their major rematch at SummerSlam between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. So whatever happens between these three superstars at Money in the Bank should definitely set up the foundation for SummerSlam. Reports have been claiming for a while now that Trish Stratus is only expected to be around until SummerSlam. So it'll be interesting to find out if that turns out to be true and where would that leave Zoe Stark if Trish is done after SummerSlam? But that's the latest for this storyline, expected to continue in a major way at Money in the Bank, since all three women are now qualified for the latter match. Now let's dive back into some things related to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. 
Kevin and Sammy are just a few weeks away from reaching 100 days as undisputed tag team champions together, but WWE is already planting seeds for tension rising amongst the tag champs. It's a question that fans are asking due to what's being hinted at and shown amongst the tag team. The June 19th edition of Raw really tapped into this and focused on Kevin Owens' apparent anger issues. During a backstage interview where Sammy and Kevin were asked about what's going on with the bloodline, Kevin Owens nearly loses his mind within moments at the question. And you can sort of understand where Kevin Owens is coming from, though. They defeated the Usos for the tag team titles nearly three months ago. Why should they care or be talking about them still? And that was Kevin's argument. He's just sick about hearing about them and talking about them. But Sami Zayn is the one that tells Kevin Owens that he needs to calm down and how he's always instantly raging at everything. And this is something that's very true. Kevin's rage wasn't something that just started on June 19th. If you go back several weeks and watch plenty of segments with Kevin Owens, you can see that it doesn't take long for him to just start yelling, screaming, and getting angry at whatever is in front of him. So that's something that's been quietly developing over the last few weeks, and the June 19th edition of Raw really made it a focal point and placed a spotlight on Kevin Owens' anger issues. They had several backstage segments throughout the night that proved Sammy's point that Kevin has become extremely short-tempered and instantly gets angry. Despite the fact that those backstage segments were used in a comedic sort of role on the June 19th edition of Raw, this is still something that's worth mentioning because it could snowball into something that's actually pretty serious for Kevin Owens. If Kevin Owens continues to have these raging and anger issues, we can't help but wonder how it'll be until he takes out this rage on Sami Zayn in the heat of the moment. It's all fun and games right now, comedic segments, and Sammy's able to calm him down. But what if it gets to a point where Kevin is beyond fed up with Sammy? And there's also those little things we talked about before with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, such as their issue with the theme songs. It's almost as if Kevin Owens' theme song no longer exists. It gets played for a few seconds, but it's Sami Zayn's song that always gets played in its entirety. And that's what they always walk to the ring to. So it's not that big of a deal, but given the fact that Kevin Owens now has this uncontrollable anger and rage, what if all these little things start building up within Kevin towards Sami Zayn? It still feels way too early to be even discussing a split for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, but the fact that they're now placing a spotlight on Kevin's anger issues, it's definitely interesting. And it does make you wonder if it's a very early foreshadowing for the reason behind Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's split down the line. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.